I am uh, rebuilding my generator on, on the Lucas C40 generator on my TR3. I wanted to document what I did. Um, first off, here's the uh, the bearing uh, replacement, uh, the bushing replacement, and the brushes replacement, the numbers, and the key, this little key, um, I lost it and I had to go find another one in, in a local uh, local old school auto repair shop had some and I had to grind that one down to size but the key is a number 404 uh, 1 8 by 3 16 by half um, so don't lose that I thought I was so careful okay um, I want to so the bushing uh, or the bearing that goes in here I've already assembled it uh, and I'm not going to take it back apart um, the order of assembly is important because I, I originally put the bearing in the uh, in the aluminum housing and then tried to put this in and that didn't work so the best way at least for me was I took the that sealed bearing inside there and I set it over took a socket tapped it onto the onto the armature now there's no and there was no there's a little cap under there but there's no washers there's no fiber washers and there's nothing between the bearing and the uh, and the shoulder that this rests on other than a little cap. Uh, then this goes on and then there's a space in there and, and, and getting it home, um, getting it driven all the way home is important or you'll never fit it on. And I found, uh, I found that uh, from, the, from the shoulder to the, to the bottom of the keyway is about 830 seconds or a quarter of an inch. So you know you have it home when it when you've you, when you've driven it home. I oh, oh, to eight thirty seconds. I put this on with the press. Um, what I did was I turned it upside down, and I put my my mount of my my support of my press. I put a V on it like this to hold these two, and then I put another one there. Turned the whole thing upside down uh, like that, and then I just very carefully uh, pressed the uh, pressed this into. Uh, press the bearing and the and the shaft into this aluminum housing. So that's how I did it. So now what's next? The diagrams aren't very clear, so I wanted to document. It took me a while to figure it out again going through my old pictures. So there's a collar here. That goes on next. Then there's a washer. And that goes on next. Then you can take the same take the same uh, socket drive it home then our little our little woodruff key goes on I haven't put this all together with this woodruff key yet so I'm hoping that I ground it right there's the Woodruff key. Then we have our fan. Goes on like that. Then we have our pulley. That goes on. hard I hope I'm okay yeah I don't want to do that too hard in the vise I'm gonna check that out see why that's so going on so hard um, oh, that seems to be done okay so now that we've got that much done I'm just going to talk through the rest of this. Um, this, this end, you, you could put the, the washer and the washer and nut on now if you want. I'm going to just do that later. Um, that went on hard enough. On this side of things, there is a fiber washer. That's not documented anywhere that I could find. So we want to be careful of that. 
and then the tab end of this, this is the side with the connector, goes toward the back, toward the brushes. So we'll just put that on, feed it in. There is a there is a indent that fits the uh, there's a dent right there. If you can see it, that fits on a on a knob on this. We'll find that. There it is. Put that in place. Now I can't do this part. I don't know if I can do this part and show you what I'm doing. The difficulty here is that these brushes, getting these brushes to fit over this armature in that space. It's a little bit tricky, especially down there. And what, what I am going to do is I bent a wire and I'm going to take the wire on one side and pull back. On the other side, I'm just going to use my thumb and I'm going to slip that down over the, over the armature. I don't know if I can do it in such a way that you can see it or not, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. And all the while you have to hook up line this little square hole that. So here we go. I think I about got it. Uh, I lost the one. Some people use two wires. I found I didn't need to. There it goes. Now you have to fight this connector. Same time. I lost one. I'm not sure it's valuable use of your time to sit there and watch me do this. Okay, now I'm going to take a, something and just pry that connector back so it'll pop through there we go watch the wires on the side now got to get this hook out of here before it comes down just watch these wires on the sides and it's a matter of popping it down what I found just in the way is that square connector it needs to be massaged through that hole a little bit. You can get that to line up so it goes through the hole. It should just pop down. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video at this point because it's just a waste of time. It's just going to take me a while to get that connector lined up on the... Oh, there it goes. It just popped down. Okay, now the last, the last bit then in our project, other than the 